Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drusa Lachey, if you don't know already. And today I'm gonna be bringing to you guys a boot haul. I know I haven't done a shoe haul in a while, but I'm back and I'm here to show you guys a few new additions to my shoe closet. Now just for reference, I do wear a US size 10. And sometimes I can go up to an 11, depending on the brand, depending on the sizing. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Q's angelic music. This is a talking piece. I feel like we need to talk about it. Now this piece is from Chinese Laundry. This is a brand that I work with. This video is not sponsored by the way. Now these boots are a size 10 and they have to be one of the most comfortable boots that I've ever worn in my life. Now these heels are 3.25 inches and if you guys have seen some of my videos talking about like tall girls wearing heels, you'll know that I don't go that high in my heels. I'm not very comfortable walking in high heels for very long periods of time. So three inches is usually my cap. I do have, you know, a couple four inch heels as well, but they, they don't get worn that often, no. But these I have actually worn for like four hours straight. I went to Hudson Yards, I walked around, I went from store to store, I went to the edge, I went to dinner. I wore these the entire time. They are incredibly comfortable. At this stage of my life, I really do value comfort. And so I really do appreciate these. And the fact that I don't have to give up style for comfort, I mean, that's just double the fun. The only thing that I do wish with these boots is that I have smaller legs. So I prefer boots that actually like hug my legs and these don't fully hug my legs, but I still find a way to style them and wear them and rock them. The issue that I tend to have with tall boots is because my legs are small, sometimes they'll slouch down, okay? And sometimes I have to constantly adjust them. But interesting thing about these boots is that although they're not like structured boots, like they don't stand up on their own, when I put them on, they don't slouch. So I'm not constantly adjusting my boots to make them straight and they are really good quality that's also the thing about shoes is you want to make sure that the quality is just really nice because let's face it they're shoes right they take a lot of hits back in the day when i started like buying my own clothes i would just want to buy stuff that's cheap right but i didn't care too much about the quality here's the real gag i just kept buying cheap shoes that would break down on me and then i would go back to the store and buy another pair of cheap shoes and then they'll break down on me and i have to continue and then one day light bulb went off and i realized that i'm spending all this money although it seems like a little bit at a time i'm spending all this money on cheap shoes when i could have just literally gathered that money and gathered probably even less and just spent it on a really good quality pair of boots and been good. They can still be, you know, cheap in terms of price and still good quality, but I'm not forfeiting good quality anymore because it ends up just being a waste of money. Anyway, of course, I will have links for all of these boots that I'm gonna show you guys down below in the description box so you can check them out. And I love that I can definitely wear this in the spring. I can wear this in the fall. It's not one of those like clunky winter boots that you can only wear them in the winter. No, you can definitely wear these in other seasons as well. You could probably even wear this early summer, rock it with some high-waisted denim shorts. Oh, you, 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 you picking up what I'm throwing? You picking up what I'm throwing? So guys, next up we have these babies from Zara. I recently picked them up, tag still on, and this was a good $80, okay? This is about the same price of the Chinese laundry boots. Chinese laundry boots were 90, or if you get them on sale, it's gonna be less than 90. But now I'm okay with spending more money on shoes when I know I'm gonna get good quality. So I bought, you know, at this point, a handful of shoes from Zara. I know how good their quality is and so I don't mind just spending a little extra money because I know obviously one not only they're fashionable but two their stuff is gonna take me places okay I didn't even really want to spend much money when I walked into Zara but I walked in I saw these I was like man these look good and I kept telling my husband I was like man these look good he's like yeah they look pretty good and I just tried to forget about it you know because I was like man I, I didn't really want to spend too much money Ah, oh, but man, these boots look good. And then I was like, Should I try on? And he was just like, You should try it. So then I tried it and I was like, Man, 
I knew this was gonna happen. Like I knew when I tried this on, I was gonna like it and I'm gonna buy it. That's exactly what I did. Y'all came home with me. Not only are they comfortable, but I told y'all I got like, I got a little small legs, okay? I love when boots hug my legs, okay? And Zara tends to usually have nice shoe options that hug my legs, okay? So I keep falling to the trap of Zara. I'm excited because I'm definitely not only gonna be wearing it this season, I'm gonna be wearing it in the spring faux show. And when, you know, it's time for fall, I'm gonna be pulling these back out. Hopefully I can find these online for you guys since I got these in the store. But if I can't find these online, I'm gonna have to just find you guys an alternative option but the good thing is that I've seen this kind of style of boot before on a couple of different websites so I'll definitely link alternate options for you guys if I can't find this exact link all right guys last but not least I know this felt like a really short haul right listen okay boots are investments I'm not gonna be standing up here showing y'all 10 different pairs of boots like that's just not how it works right now I am excited to be introducing a brand that reached out to me called italic it says made for italic on the box i'm really really excited to be featuring this brand so italic is a membership based company that offers a thousand plus quality goods from the same exact manufacturers as top luxury brands but they don't do all those markups and that's the great part you're not paying for brands you're paying for the actual product for example they have sheets from the same manufacturers as saint regis and four seasons they have leather bags from the same manufacturers as prada and Miu Miu. you are paying for the same kinds of luxury goods without the luxury price how can you beat that <laughs> you can't italic reached out to me and asked me to review their product and so i decided that i'm gonna review one of their boots that are like uggs because i have a pair of uggs already and so i thought it'd be a really good idea to try their boots that look like uggs and that are sourced from the same manufacturer as uggs so i can really tell and test the quality against each other i know i'm presenting this to you guys like if i just opened it but i already opened this and i already wore it once because i really had to test it out but you know i had to make it look all nice and pretty once again for you guys by the way guys i did get this product for free italic was nice enough to send it to me so shout out to you guys i appreciate you for letting me test out your product and i'm happy to be introducing this brand to my audience as you can see this looks just like uggs and i'm gonna show you guys my uggs please don't judge me they look busted because they're super old here they are so here are these side by side look at that like look at the fact that they essentially look the same the only way you could tell that they're not uggs is the fact that they don't have this ugg label they have the inside fur as well and so it's nice and soft the only difference though is that i can tell the difference between the fur like this fur feels a little bit softer and the quality is a little bit different and then this one feels a little bit um it's not that it's not soft it is soft on the inside but i can just tell also when i wore them they did kind of rub off on my sock so there was like a little bit of darkness at the bottom of my sock like black so i knew it was definitely from the shoe but other than that it was super comfortable to wear and this is sturdy even the bottoms of the shoe look very similar so i love what italic is doing i think it's a great idea because in this day and age to be real real with you guys these designer brands of course they look nice and they're great but the pricing is it's all about the name if you see like a ripped shirt and they're selling it for a thousand dollars it does not take a thousand dollars to make that shirt you know manufacture it ship it it does not take a thousand dollars to do that but because a brand is stamped on it that is what we are actually paying for but with italic we get rid of that and we are literally just paying for the product which is awesome so you might be wondering how's italic making their money if they're not marking things up like all these other brands are doing well the thing is that they are a subscription based company so they are charging ten dollars a month so 120 dollars a year to get these products and these items for a really good price and the fact that they actually show you pricing of the items when they're being sold by luxury brands versus how much they're selling it for like that will give you a good 
comparison and show you like this is what you would have normally been paying and this is what we are actually charging and with italic they don't only sell shoes they don't only sell apparel jewelry accessories they also sell some home items okay so you guys definitely should go ahead and check them out because i think that they are onto something Alrighty, guys so those are the three additions to my closet i hope that you guys enjoyed this video just let me know which one of these boots are your favorite down below and if you would rock any of these and let me know if you're going to be checking out any of these brands or if you've already shopped at these brands obviously we've all shopped at zara but have you shopped at chinese laundry have you shopped at italic but if you also want to tell me about your zara purchases by all means we could always talk about zara thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up Please do not forget to subscribe before you leave because I'm clocking you. Also, if you a size tenor, make yourself known in the comments box. Let me know, okay? So I know that we are a community out here. I appreciate you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Be blessed. Deuces.